Now at 6, we have another Target 12 investigators exclusive. It was one of the most notorious infrastructure projects in recent memory, the Barrington River Bridge. And by the time it finally opened, the $24 million bridge was years overdue and way over budget. But tonight, we've learned the bridge has already been deemed structurally deficient. Target 12 investigator Ted Nisi went to the DOT for answers, and he joins us now with what he's learned. Ted? Mike Shannon, Rideout leaders acknowledge the public has a right to be frustrated that this bridge already needs repairs, but they say the silver lining is they caught it early. Eyewitness News in Barrington now where the new bridge will open to all traffic tomorrow. When the new Barrington River Bridge finally opened to traffic in September 2009, it was three years late and $10 million over budget. The Rhode Island Department of Transportation botched the project's design so badly the agency wound up paying millions to the contractor. Turns out the problems aren't over. Target 12 discovered this document showing the bridge was deemed structurally deficient this summer, not even 10 years after it opened. What do you say to people who just want to throw up their hands about how there could be this many problems with a single bridge? That's a good question. Robert Rocchio is RIDOT's chief engineer for infrastructure. I was here during the times of, uh, you know, uh, the construction delays, the cost increases. Uh, I, I feel their frustration. According to RIDOT, during a routine underwater inspection, divers took these photos. They showed the bridge's steel beams quickly eroding from the swift current of the Barrington River. Between the last two years and this, uh, you know, this recent inspection uh, is significantly uh, worsened. Rocchio says the good news is the erosion was found early, so it will only cost an estimated $100,000 to fix. And he says money is available because the 2016 Roadworks law provided extra funding for infrastructure. So, so the focus is on uh, identifying any um, deterioration or any issues and addressing them quickly, and we believe that that saves a lot of money. Rocchio also tells me the necessary repairs are still limited enough that they shouldn't cause any delays for traffic going over the bridge above. RIDOT hopes to finish the work by the end of this year and put in a mitigation plan in 2020. With the Target 12 investigators, Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News.